Hi, I'm Sophie from Sophie's World. You know, for the past couple months, I've been out and about touring around with my new book, Sticky Fingers DIY Duct Tape Projects. And when I was at one of my workshops at a local library, there was one of the young ladies there and she created this amazing triple band bangle. And it's all made out of duct tape and I'm gonna teach you how to make it right now. So for this project, we're gonna need duct tape, scissors, a work surface, and this is not necessary, but it's nice to have a pen just to mark things. Now, for this one, I'm gonna be using three different colors of duct tape, but it's up to you whatever pattern you would like to use. I'm gonna take one strip of each color, and I need it to be 11 inches long. So if you're gonna be using different colored patterns, if you're gonna do them all the same, you still need three strips 11 inches long. Then I'm also gonna have one strip that is two inches long, but I've cut into thirds. So what I've done is I've taken a two inch piece of tape and I've cut it into three pieces. They're about three quarters of an inch wide each. All right, first things first, we need to make our little bands, this part right here. We need to make three of these. Now, you know, you could make more than three, but this is, a, this is just a try bracelet. If you wanted to make more than three, you can. Just experiment. It's up to you. Okay, so I've taken my first piece of tape and I've flipped it over so that it's sticky side up. I'm then going to fold this tape up and onto itself by about a pinky width. I love using my pinky nail as like my measuring device because it just seems to work really well. So as you can see, it's about a pinky width. See that nail? It's about that width. So that, that's about a little bit more than a quarter inch. It's like an eighth of an inch more than a quarter. So it's like three, uh, one quarter is two eighths, three eighths, like three eighths of an inch. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is flip this onto itself again. And what I'm doing basically is making a nice strong strap. I'm gonna fold it over again. Now, do you see this edge? I wanna fold this onto itself. I want to make sure that there's no sticky edges. I'm just going to fold it, fold it, fold it onto itself and seal it really, really good. There we go. And that's how you make your bangle strap. Now, I've already made these two bangle straps ahead of time here just to save us some time. Now, what I'm going to do with these is I've got my three bangle straps and this is where my little strips of tape are going to come in. So the first thing I do is I'm going to put my first one down, hold it in my hand, and then I'm just going to place my second one down. Now you want to make sure that, see how that's the seam there? Turn the seams down so that all the clean sides are facing up. Seam sides down, there's the seam side. Seam sides down, clean sides up. So I've laid them on top of each other. One, two, three. And now what I'm going to do is just take this piece of tape, one strip, and I'm gonna lay it right on top here, and I'm gonna seal these pieces together. Just like that. So they're sealed together. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I get a good measurement because what I wanna make sure can happen is that this can slide over my, my, my fattest part of my hand, basically. So what I do is I tuck my thumb in, and I measure from this side to this side. So I'm gonna bring this up and over. And this is where the pen comes in handy. So I'm gonna measure right there with just a little mark like that. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this around because I know that that's where I want it to be. I'm gonna take that next piece of tape. I'm gonna hold it in my finger so I'm ready with it. Now, this is where you can get creative. You can cross these if you want to. Your pattern is up to you. But what you do want to make sure is that it is at least as big. It can be slightly larger if you want to than your, your, your first green one here, your first loop that you've got measured. It can be slightly larger if you want, but don't, like, don't let it be any smaller. Okay, and I'm going to lick that one there. And then I'm going to take my last one and I'm just going to lay it along here, like that. So now they're all lined up on top of each other. And once again, with this tape, I'm gonna seal it. 
Okay, now you can see these guys are crossed. This one's kind of loose from the others, and that's okay. I like it that way. If I wanted them all crossed, I could. It's up to me however I want to design it. Now, see these extra bits? I'm just going to cut those little extra bits off. And now that last little piece of tape. This is going to help me to seal everything together. I'm just going to seal it like that. And there you have it. You've got your bracelet. And what I love about this is that they can kind of shift and move, kind of like a tri-ring. I used to have a tri-ring, and it used to shift and move like this, and it's pretty cool. And there you go. And there you have it, a duct tape bangle bracelet. And just a reminder, this came from one of my 10-year-old class participants. So you see, my inspiration comes directly from you guys, and I'm always happy to share it. For more great ideas inspired by you, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.